Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Bill Spencer, a Senior Director for Microsoft Teams, and I'm pleased today to be joined by Graham Milne, who will be presenting Citric Easy, which is a travel solution that Microsoft is adopting itself. Please take it away, Graham. Thank you very much, Bill. Um, I'm delighted to be here this evening to present uh, this to you. My name is Graham Milne, as Bill said, I'm the Director of Sales for UK, Ireland and Nordics, um, Amadeus Citrix Solutions. Um, I'm coming to you from London today um, and yeah, delighted to be here and, and, and hopefully can uh, ask any questions and answer any questions as we go through. So I think we're going to just start by um, I, I, I giving you an idea of who Amadeus is. Amadeus, um, uh, uh, the partner of Microsoft. On, um, so look, Amadeus are one of the leading software companies in the world. We really do encompass the travel ecosystem. Um, uh, I, I've been in the travel industry myself for about 25 years, working in an airline and, and, and a travel management company before joining Amadeus and really had no idea of the the size and scale of, of, of our overall ecosystem. We um, we have about 60% of the world's airports um, where we have not just software, but hardware um, in place. For instance, at, at Heathrow, all the checking kiosks, uh, self-service kiosks, all the baggage handling systems are all, ma all managed by an Amadeus uh, software. We also look after about 159 airlines around the world. So um, for instance, BA, Lufthansa, they run their uh, reservation systems all through an Amadeus um, platform. We also um, are uh, the market leader of the global distribution system. So there's three main global distribution systems within the travel um, sphere where travel sellers access inventory from airlines, hotels, and 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 we have a 50% market share globally um, and on the on the GDS. Um, we also have a, a hospitality section where we manage the likes of IHG, Marriott, their reservation systems. So again, all sitting on an Amadeus platform. So when you put that together as one Amadeus um, global platform, we really do sort of encapsulate the entire sort of ecosystem of the travel industry. My area of expertise is in corporate IT. So um, uh, the, the part of the business I work in, Citric, um, we offer corporate solutions to, to large enterprise um, organizations around the world. Um, we are a Microsoft Gold Partner, top tier strategic ISV, um, and Citric Easy is, is an app that's being jointly designed by Microsoft. Um, and we are working closely to make sure that what we deliver is something that not just Microsoft will use, but, but your customers will use as well. Um, Amadeus as an organization are hugely focused on driving innovation and pushing our industry that we are you know, extremely proud to be part of. And you'll see that sort of eighteen percent of our annual revenues on a regular basis is going pumped back into innovation and really pushing the pushing the the industry forward. Um, just a, a, a part on our on our partnership with Microsoft, the sort of two key two key probably areas is moving our business um, to to get greater agility and pushing that onto onto the um, Microsoft Azure cloud, and um, which uh, you know the the benefits we understand that will bring from you know the the ecosystem that I've just explained, um, and 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 the power that the, the the cloud can bring us, but not just that it is actually really looking to explore and develop new solutions um, that, that can really change the travel industry and we, we really want to make it a far more sort of frictionless and personalized um, space where where you know business travelers can can, can really see a, a difference and we truly believe that between the two of us and the power of these two brands together um, we have a very unique um, opportunity now to really drive change um, w w within the travel industry. And I think it's, you know, now is probably a, 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 as good a time as ever to drive that change. Um, and, you know, I think we're all aware that the way um, we work has changed and, and, and it really has drastically changed for, for me personally, I'm sure for others on the call today, that, um, you know, we, we are not um, tied to our commute. We are not going into the office and sitting on our computers all the time. We are finding that different ways to collaborate now. We need to um, understand how we meet and how we how we make sure we are, we're sharing ideas with people. So the way that we work has changed and we really do feel that the way we book trips and, and, and we travel has also changed. And that's where really what we're focusing on with 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 Citric Easy. 
Um, so Cypher Keezy is, is a, a, a Microsoft um, app that sits within the Microsoft Store, but that sits on top of our Citrix solutions. And I just want to kind of give you an overview of, of our Citrix solution. So our key flagship Citrix travel brand is our um, online booking tool for corporations. So they can plan uh, air, hotel, rail, um, car transfers, all through one um, one intuitive booking tool and that can be accessed either via desktop or mobile and of course now through the Citric Easy platform. And part of our uh, travel um, module also has an expense management um, piece which is completely integrated uh, as one solution, one profile and that really is giving you a full end-to-end -end from when planning, booking, being on trip and then expensing through and um, then other uh, corporate solutions that we offer are um, payment solutions, business intelligence solutions and enabling you to sort of analyze the spend. And then that comes um, complete with the duty of care package, which uh, enables travelers to check in when they're traveling um, and, and, and push messages. The organization can push messages at time of, of, of emergency. So we've currently got 16,000 customers worldwide sitting on Citric. Um, and you obviously do have to have Citric Travel to enable the Citric Easy app um, um, to sit on top and, and, and work on that. So the Citric Easy app, um, you know, what, what, what is the Citric Easy app? It's not an online booking tool. The online booking tool is Citric itself. The Citric Easy app is, a, is, is an app that enables collaboration um, across, uh, across teams, across individuals. And, and and really begins to drive some 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 key areas of uh, productivity and savings, and we'll we'll go into that as as we go through the demo. Um, so it's a, as I said, it's a Microsoft preferred solution. We are working with Microsoft. It's it, it's now live a, a, across France, Portugal, Italy, and Spain. Um, and really, it's it's using the exclusive features of Teams to really begin to build these collaboration pieces and and to give travelers a much better experience um, while booking and and, and, and traveling um, through teams and never leaving teams. And I think that's one of probably the biggest things um, that we find one of our customers are speaking about is just the amount of different places they need to go. And that's really what we've tried to do is bring that into that um, modern workplace that they're working on today. Um, but Without sort of speaking any more, I think the real proof is in the pudding. So I'm going to go straight in and I'm going to now show you a demo of Citric Easy. So um, you can see here I've come into my Teams environment. Um, I've got my chat and um, I'm sure everybody's fairly familiar with Teams. And um, so I'm going to go into my Citric Easy app that I've got pinned at the top there. We've got our chat bot, which um, sends me through my confirmations, any trip changes that have been done that I can uh, add to my calendar. I then go straight on to my um, travel dashboard. So you'll see here on my travel dashboard, I've got um, some trips pre-booked. Um, I've got a trip to Frankfurt. You'll see I've got flights, hotel and car here booked on this trip. Um, for my Nice trip, I've just got a flight and then my Madrid, Madrid trip, I've, I've got a flight there booked there. Now, one of the key functions for, um, for Citric Easy now is all about the collaboration. So um, I've got the ability to share these trips with anyone within my chat. So if I go into my chat um, and you'll see here that um, I've got a special chat lined up. Um, so demo. Um, once I get into my chat, you'll see my chat bar at the bottom here, which has the Citric logo. So I click on the Citric logo and this will then bring up all the bookings that I have made within uh, within my travel, my profile. So I can then go in and you can see here I've got my car hire, my hotel, my flight. I can either share one or all um, of this trip. Um, so I'm going to share that. I'm going to write a little message. Um, uh, is this looking? Um, and then I'll just hit send on that. So that then goes through to whoever's whoever you're sending in the chat. They can search the hotel, they can search the car, they can go and book the flight. That will take them directly into Citric access within Teams to then go on and carry on their booking from from that chat. And um, so that's the first bit of collaboration that uh, that we have here. So I'm going to go back into my travel dashboard now, 
Um, and one of the really nice things about um, is this is then going into the trip card. And what this gives us here now is the ability to um, use the destination and pull through our close collaborators at that destination. So what you'll see here, I've got my flight, I've got my hotel and I've got my car booked here. But what this is using is my team's database and pulling up my close collaborators based in Frankfurt. So Heather, she's my counterpart based in Frankfurt. Um, and this is done on who I collaborate with the most. So in order of my, my, my biggest collaborators. So I can see there, I can go and send a message, send a mail or, or, or schedule a meeting. You'll also see under here, I also have something that um, is offering me a, a, an opportunity to share a transfer from the airport. So what this does is it looks in the system and looks to see if I have any colleagues that have enabled this. And that's, this is um, for GDPR, you're, you're um, also, uh, possible, it's up to you whether you disable or, or, or enable this feature um, to see if you can share your transfer with any colleagues. So it doesn't look at the moment like I've got any colleagues um, joining me in Frankfurt. So I'll go and have a look at one of my other trips. So in Nice. Um, I'll click into Nice. You will find that um, my close collaborators will be different. These are um, my colleagues based in, in, in Nice that I deal with. Um, but now I'll also hopefully have um, some opportunity here to share. So I've got Mark, who's on the same flight as myself. Lucy, who's joining me at 9.55 a bit earlier. And then Sylvan, who's at, who's at 10 o'clock on a different flight. Um, so that then enables me to go in, send them a chat. Hey, I see you. We're, we're, we're arriving at the same time. Let's share. Let's share a transfer um, and, and, and join together. So really giving you great opportunities to a collaborate and, and, and reduce cost, reduce carbon. Um, so that is our um, the collaboration piece within it. We do have the ability to do a very simple air search natively within within Teams. Now, what you'll see here along the top, we've got a couple of different dashboards. So um, before I run into plan a trip, we can access um, our overall desktop environment, which is Citric desktop, um, and all functionality is available within the Teams setting. So you can go and you can see there's my bookings there that I've got for, for Frankfurt with my car and my hotel all booked in there. Um, and this then has the ability to book flights, trains, hotels, transfers can all be done through the, um, the, 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 the Teams platform. But what we've actually tried to do now is one, one of the things that we found um, most of our travel managers are asking is there's so much content and so much choice. I really want to be a much more personalized approach to what I can offer my travelers. And this is where um, the plan the trip comes in. So. With the plan the trip, um, with, with, and this is only flight so far, what this is now going to do is it's actually going to, I'm going to go and have a look um, for a certain trip. So I'll maybe just go Heathrow to Madrid. Um, Madrid, let me just see if I can. So you can set your departure times um, and uh, arrival times. Um, now, all these settings sit in the background of Citric, um, which is things like your personal settings, your airline settings, your policy settings. And what this will actually do is only give us options within policy. So let me just look for, and then I'll go uh, 1800. Um, let's see, let's go And so now when I um, hit search here, I can I can change my trip purpose and you can set policy off of this trip purpose. So, for instance, if you're going to meet a customer, you'd maybe be able to book business class. If you're doing internal, you'd maybe be only be booking um, economy, for instance. So what this now is going to do is it's, it's looking at my preferences, my profile, my policies, and it's going to give me a very succinct offer of flights that are available for this trip um, and you'll see here we've got greenest cheapest and shortest so what it does is it gives you some different options um, and the ability to to to, to uh, on your within your policy and within the times that you've you've chosen um, you can see here if you're not getting what you want, you can click view more options and that will take me straight into Citric um, Classic um, and, and, and give me a whole ream of different options there. Um, we have the ability to edit our search, um, which means we can edit times, destinations, uh, departure points, um, all within a quick um, bar here. So you'll see how it, 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 we can edit that there. 
We can also, if I click on one, have the ability to now share just this selection. So without booking, I can go in and share this with someone. Um, share this with my colleague. So I'll go in and share that with Mark. Um, what do you think? And then I can hit share on that and that will then send that options off to him. Or I can simply go ahead and go in and, and, and book that option. Um, I think it's probably my laptop that's creating some slowness around things. It's uh, let's cancel that. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so I can either view, view more options or go ahead and book straight, and that will take me to Citric. Um, and I'll, I'll just uh, show you. And this will take me to the final page um, where I can add seats, add bags, add any ancillaries, um, any kind of policy stuff that your organisation wants will be built into Citric, which will enable you to then complete that booking um, uh, and, and move on. So I will go back into my trip card. So you can see here I've got my trip cards. Um, and finally, the last thing I really want to show you on the demo is our expense dashboard. So within Citric, we've got um, our expense product. So the dashboard is now really giving you an overview of your um, expense sort of situation. So you'll see that I've got a to-do list. We've got some uh, the status of our spending over the last sort of 30, 90 days or 12 months. And you can see there's some expenses still to submit um, under reimbursements. You've got a, a sort of basis of where you are with your expenses at any given time. Um, I'm going to now flip back into the presentation to show you what is what sort of sort of what is coming next, and then maybe we can go into to some questions. So, um, just on terms of um, some of our uh, existing customers, um, so as I mentioned already, we've got Microsoft um, live now in Portugal, France, Spain, and uh, Italy. Um, but you'll see there we've got a number of sort of our first customers that are now using the system, part of our innovation project to really drive the system forward. And you can see some of the comments that that, that we've had um, there. Um, and yeah, just uh, finally, um, what we have now, um, and pr uh, hopefully I've managed to show you um, all of the things that are available now um, with, with our um, sharing and um, being able to um, get the options through the teams. But I guess the key things of what are coming um, is our expense notification. So when coming back from a trip, you'll be getting notifications to say, hey, you've just returned from your trip, you should submit your expenses. And um, we're looking at matching my trip, so it'll be one click book um, where we can send our options and, 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 and any of your colleagues have got one click book. And then looking at other areas where we've got not just uh, individuals who are booking, but if you've got a company where you've got travel arrangers booking and um, the ability to sort of share hotels and, and, and let the person who's staying in the hotel view before before booking. Um, Lots of other projects coming up with other areas of Microsoft with Power BI and Microsoft Graph. And, and, and we really believe this is only the beginning of, of, of where Citric Easy can go. Um, and I think um, that is uh, 25 minutes. We've got five minutes for questions. Hopefully I've nailed that timing. Um, and Perfect. yeah, if there's any questions, please go ahead. Thank you, Graham. This is awesome. I um, am looking forward to using this myself. I look, I think um, this is a big step up from the current solution that uh, Microsoft is using for travel. And so often I'm cutting and pasting from email into Teams in order to do exactly the scenarios you described. Yeah. When are we all arriving at such and such an airport? Where are we staying? And you know, where can we go to get dinner uh, before the event the next morning, et cetera. So I think this is a, a, a great solution that I think it's going to be very well received. Um, one question is um, around the licensing uh, cost and, and licensing model. How does the how does the licensing model work and how does the, uh, the how do, what can you share about the, the cost? OK, so the, the, the costs in the licensing set alongside the overall Citric um, travel costing so usually um, the majority of customers we've done have we've it's it's all part of one overall package so you obviously need to have citric travel and um, the the costing is usually based around uh, a, a transaction well usage model so depending on how much usage you have will depend on on, on the costs um on a transaction fee basis Agreed. well graham yeah. thank you so much uh for uh giving us this overview uh, we're really looking forward to using it. It's a great uh, application of collaboration in an area that people do all the time, but may not think of it. 
you know, so this is really um, a great solution. Uh, thank you for your support of Microsoft Teams. Thanks very much, Bill. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yep. And thank you, everyone, for joining. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.